Snamuva Primary School from Imbali Township in Peter Maritzburg are in the final phases of their preparations. The youngsters will be jetting off to Poland in September to take part in the Danone Nations Cup Global Finals. And despite some challenges in their preparations, the school is confident that they'll do well abroad. The Non Nations Cup SA champions, Snamuva Primary School from Peter Maritzburg in KwaZulu Natal, are putting the final touches on their preparations. The school and sponsors, Danon, are showing great commitment, going all out to ensure that the youngsters receive the best possible training to prepare them for the global finals. Today we have our national ambassador, Neil Tovi, which is coaching them, and I think that's already a good start. They have also coaches that are attending uh, this coaching clinic today, and so I'm sure they will be well prepared, and we're supporting them. We've got the whole country behind them. We're very proud of them. They competed against 3,000 schools nationwide. So I think they did a good job. I think they represent our country well. We got, we're confident in them, so the most important thing is to participate, and I think they'll do great. It is a great achievement, and it is a, a challenge as well. A challenge in the sense that one has to get these children prepared to go out there and make the whole country proud. One has got to get uh, funds uh, in order to assist in the whole range of preparations that is going on here. Uh, so that every, when they go out, they go all out, they are prepared and fully fit to participate and come back with a trophy. The principal says the training camp is not the last as they have many others lined up for the coming weeks. Since we started. We've been engaging them with uh, soccer friendlies. And uh, there is a, a, a soccer development that is taking place in the University of KwaZulu Natal. And then that is a strong side. It is playing uh, uh, as a professional young team. And they keep, us, keep, keep on giving us games. And 18 Nail Association as well have got. Uh, the junior uh, tournaments, the junior association games every weekend. We also ask them to play against us and then we continue training on our own. Despite the school's obvious lack of resources, the youngsters have demonstrated an undoubted high level of dedication to their preparations. Coach Neil Tovey is pleased with their approach and improved level of confidence and discipline. But he noted that they need to improve on the basics and release the ball a bit quicker. Yeah, obviously uh, it's a nice talent. Uh, you know, uh, I know uh, a South African team for Dunan has always done done us proud when they've gone and travelled overseas. And uh, I think this team's got a lot of spirit, and uh, I'm sure they'll play a lot of passion, and uh, they'll do us proud. If you keep the ball simple, you get the control, and you pass, and you move. That's what football's about. I mean, Messi is only five foot six. No one troubles him too much. So uh, you, know, you just got to keep it simple. Keep the play simple and, uh, and then it should be okay. It's just a, a typical uh, situation where they want to hold on to the ball a little bit too long. Uh, if we can get, because they've got their natural skill. They must use that. They must play to their strengths. Their natural skill, use it in the, correct, in the correct situation, but also then release and pass and move. Then use their skill, pass, release and move. Eventually they'll be by the goal mouth of the opposition and then they can shoot and score. The former Bafana Bafana captain also believes that this will be an unforgettable experience for the youngsters who will be competing at an international level at such a young age. Toby also highlighted that he has helped the boys to enjoy the experience as opposed to worrying about winning and putting themselves under unnecessary pressure. Only one of the youngsters has ever been on an aeroplane before. So it's going to be a nice, exciting time for them and uh, you know, something that they'll cherish for the rest of their life. Um, traditionally, as I said, the South African team has done well, and traditionally uh, uh, one or two or three, if not hopefully more, will come on and go on to play for professional football uh, in their life. So let's hope it, uh, it's a lot, a lot of them that come through that, that, that phase. Let them, lead, let them join in the excitement, and that's something new, it's difficult uh, for the, to explain to them now. Uh, but when they, when they get on board, they'll be enthusiastic, as I said, all the, all, all the past teams have sung, have brought their, their, their traditional um, values through and that's important to keep and uh, whenever I've been with the Danone team overseas all the other countries want to want to be with our team because our team sings they're happy they're vibey, vibrant and uh, they enjoy the situation and that they must never do whether they win or lose they're there to make friends which is a Danone way making friends bringing people together and must just enjoy it and and live a dream
Meanwhile, the youngsters are eagerly awaiting their departure to Poland, where they will meet up with other youngsters from 39 participating countries from around the world. All of them are excited about the prospect of jetting off to Europe for the first time. And it will be a first time on the plane for most of these youngsters as they look to raise the South African flag high at the global finals. Snamuva's remarkable self-belief and never-say-die attitude has been the driving force behind the team's success. After going down in the finals to Brie Primary in 2008, the youngsters from Peter Maritzburg never looked back. Although it's taken them four years, they've bounced back in real style. And they'll represent South Africa with pride at the Benon Nations Cup Global Finals in Poland in September.